Welcome to part two of how to upgrade your Darwin Baby 8 Pro V2 EOLRS version. At the last video, we have upgraded the um, not so reliable stock motors to the T Motors F1204 5000 kV motors. And in today's video, we will be upgrading the antennas, adding a run cam power cable, and we are going to add some TPUs. Let's go. Okay, so before we begin, we are going to look at the parts we're going to need. For the antenna, we are going to upgrade to the Foxer Lollipop RHCP UFL antennas. So RHCP is basically the way of how the antenna is wired, so it's going to go by the right side. So you can see that there is a RHCP, so you can know that this is going on the right. If it's a left, it's going on left. And the UFL is the type of connector which looks like this, and this is going to be conforming with the BTX. So upgrading the antenna from the stock linear antenna, this is a linear antenna, to the RHCP antenna should greatly increase the range of the VTX. So next is the Runkin Thumb Pro wire. Because this camera doesn't have internal power, so we're going to have to solder up a power cable. So basically you're going to solder up a 5 volt and the ground so it can be powered. At last we will be upgrading the TPU parts. So we'll be adding some skits on the bottom, which this should be the most easiest. You just have to print them. I will also leave the file at below, and so you can find a, the right printer guide for you, so you can print these yourself. All right, let's begin. Okay, so for spacing issue, we're gonna start by installing the run cam cable first. Based on the wiring diagram, this one is gonna be your five volts, and this one is gonna be additional ground. So we're gonna solder the red one, to the fight volt and the black one to the ground. We're going to add some flux. Done. Let's test it out. Okay, same drill. Let's plug in the short saver just to make sure that we don't have any shorts. Okay, plug in the lipo. Okay, then we are going to plug in the battery. Let's go, let's plug in this and see if it actually works. All right, so we are getting power. So good sign that this is working. All right, let's move to the next step. Okay, so we are going to remove this gel off the VTX, otherwise we cannot remove it. So you just have to use force. Next step, we will be connecting the antennas to the VTX. As you can see, this UFL port, it's just a really, it's really just an easy snap in. So you can easily be pulled out. So we are gonna need something to hold it there. I already tried hot glue and it does not work. So we are going to use some of the liquid electronical tape. So you can get this in any hardware store. The link will also be as below. Let's begin. We're gonna start by snap the antennas in. We're going to give it a pretty thick layer, so it's going to stick there. There's a little more. Okay. 
Okay. Next, we're gonna give it five minutes to dry. Okay, so the first coat has dried up and we are going to add a second coat. So the first coat basically dries within five minutes. So for actually better accuracy, we're gonna start using a Q-tip instead of the brush. So we can make sure that we drip, that make sure we apply the gel onto the correct location. Top. Okay, looks good. Let's wait for additional few minutes for it to dry it up. So after about 12 hours, this thing is going to dry up and you should be able to start putting it back. Okay, so next we're just going to put everything back. Next we'll be adding the TPUs and this is the Runkin Thumb Pro GoPro style mount and we're just going to put it here we're going to screw it in with the original screws. Okay, next let's add the skids. Very simple, these are all plug and play, just push it in, just push it in and you are done. For these skids, I don't think I'm going to recommend it because I think these are for the original motors. With the new motors, the screws are bigger so it's not fitting too well. It's not fitting too well but yeah, it, it gets the job done. Okay, next we will be adding the Runkin Thumb Pro to the on top of our mount and after this we should be done. Okay, so there is one problem with this mount, which you can see that there is no screws that is holding in front. Okay, so to fix this issue, we are going to need some of the Gorilla double side mounting tapes. And we're just going to start by cutting it to size. Okay, so not the perfect, not the most perfect method, but it's good enough for me. Okay, let's give it a quick test fly. The footage is coming out from the Run Cam Thumb Pro at 4K 30 frames per second, and I also ran it through Gyro Flow to stabilize the footage. With the upgraded F1204 motors, you do feel there is a significant increase of recovery power or stunt power compared to the original stock motors, especially when you are just pulling up. The old motor is just going to struggle and I'm always afraid I might fright it with a longer punch as to, it's just not rated for 3S, it's more, mainly for 2S. So I do think this is a worthwhile upgrade as it makes this quad fly so much better. As for the antenna, yes, much better range compared to the stock liner antenna and you're not going to lose footage when you're doing a roll or flip or whatsoever because like it does happen to me before so that's the main reason why I decided to 
give it a better antenna okay i guess this wraps us up this video so if you have any questions please leave them at the comment section and please subscribe you have my thanks see you next time